Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for Tuesday, February 6th. This is for all signs. We're just going to see whatever comes up for the day. I just did a let's talk on healing last night. It was turned out to be pretty good about, you know, how to start your healing process. If you're interested in watching that. Oh. <laughs> oh, perfect. Okay, this is the world card. When the world card comes out, it means that you have learned something big. Something really, really big. There's a major new beginning in front of you, okay? You can celebrate your success because there's a new chapter starting, all right? And it does fall in line with healing, all right? When you get to that ultimate spot of healing, it's like a renewal, okay? It's like a rebirth. That's when you can really start your new beginning, when you have reached your peak, okay? When this card comes up, it tells me that many of you should be celebrating your success right now, okay? So there's been a period of deception, okay? And perhaps that's why you finally learned something from some kind of deception, okay? Perhaps you've been deceived, lied to, cheated, robbed, you know? Maybe you've been dealing with some something that was uh, not good for you, put it that way. And you learned from it. That's what this is. You, you, something has taught you something very, very big. It may have made you take a step back, you know, to really focus on what you want, do some soul searching. I feel like today is a day of perhaps mo removing obstacles, okay? Because of some kind of betrayal, some kind of deceit has opened your eyes, okay? If if this hasn't happened yet, I just want to make you aware that, you know, there, there's, there could be something going on behind the scenes that isn't oh, trustworthy, okay? It's like there's, there's some kind of... Um, animosity okay whether it's you or another person there's some kind of deception and envy I mean that's what the card says there you you could be dealing with somebody who's jealous or it could be you you could be dealing with somebody who's deceiving you robbing you cheating you lying you lying to you but the fact of the matter is is that you have the skills to to reflect off of this in a positive way and learn from it and that's what I feel like I feel like many of you are starting a new chapter because you've been deceived in the past. It's like, I've been deceived, I've learned from it, I know what I need to do, and I'm moving on. That kind of energy. It feels like you've, if, if this hasn't happened yet, you could be taking this day to really go, in, go within because of deception, okay? Maybe you've been deceived recently, and today is a day of really focusing on what you want. You know, soul searching. It really feels like today is it is more of a day of soul searching, a day of reflection, taking a time out. Um, I'm gonna start shuffling this. Becoming self-aware. It's a, it, or becoming aware. Period of the deception and envy that's in your life. Maybe you're just becoming aware right now of how people are bringing you down. That could certainly be the case. Maybe you're dealing with somebody who's sneaky, somebody who's a liar, somebody who's not a nice person and so you're like how okay it's time for me to deal with this and that does seem to be true it's like an awakening it's a wake-up call i feel like there's been some kind of hurt that has opened your eyes and today you're trying to figure out how you're going to deal with it okay but i have to tell you that it does it does uh 
my mind it keeps going blank it does open a new beginning for you it does so trust me this is the universe saying okay I'm gonna wake you up now so that you can start your new beginning so that's what I think this is so you there's some kind of epiphany here that has come about and it probably came about in not such a good way unfortunately which has caused you to really reflect on what's next what's next for me I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges this is the judgment card it's also a card of awakening okay so I feel like for many of you it is like a judgment day kind of day there's been some betrayal there's been some deceit deceit there's been some kind of lies or something like that that has opened your eyes and now it's time to come up with the plan for the future and it looks like that plan is going to be really good because of that world card it feels like the plan is going to be successful and it's time for you to start this new chapter this new beginning okay I think there's a door that's closing okay some kind of door that's closing that has to do with past deception okay it does because this is nines are closure okay there is some kind of door that's closing that is allowing you to start a new chapter <laughs> oh goodness new beginnings is that card love it love it it's true there's some kind of a backstabbing of some sort that is done I'm done with it done can't do it no more sorry listening perfect you know I'm gonna read that one even though we know what listening means I want to know what the book has to say this card is new beginnings everything in life is constantly vibrating and moving and therefore continuously changing and evolving. Be aware that a new beginning is on the horizon. Truly. Have courage and faith because right now, life is trying to nudge you forward and move you in the new direction. This is just reiterating what I was saying, obviously. This has happened and, and it came to wake you up. I mean, this card just reiterated what I was saying. And I really don't need to read this. This card is listening. Are you listening to your inner God? Are you listening to what I'm saying? Are you listening to yourself? Are you listening to the person that's betraying you? Are you really listening? Are you paying attention to the signs? That's what the card says. All right. Now, maybe if I just shut this light off, we can get a better lighting. I'm sorry. Put my arm in the way. Whatever. Um, anyway, there's been something. Something has happened. And it's the universe opening, like that card says, nudging you, opening your eyes. All right. It's time. It's time for your new beginning. I'll read the card just for the hell of it. thing is, this, this book is so long-winded. I don't go for long-winded. In this modern age, more and more emphasis, emphasis is placed on the role of speaking out. But few people take time to truly give of themselves by practicing the forgotten art of listening. The deeper implication means we have forgotten how to listen to ourselves. The wisdom which comes from our heart and our, and our connection. From listening comes wisdom. When we truly listen, we can learn a great deal. In times of crisis, we seek out wise people, those who by the virtue of listening have earned the right to be heard. By drawing this card, the higher power urges you to be open, responsive, and present in your approach to life. By listening carefully, you will not only gain new insight and perspective, but also 
bequeath, bequeath others with one of the most precious gifts of all. Listening. Many of you are going through major life changes and new beginnings are truly on the horizon. I feel like there's been some kind of betrayal that has forced upon you an awakening. And now it's time to follow your inner guide and your plan, your plan for what you want in your life. Today is a day of new beginnings. Talk to you later.